Welcome back today with uh, me, Mr. Fremino, in uh, my studio here uh, in Amsterdam. Today, today we want to start a new new song from Zero, a new track that I start always in uh, Garage Band. I use uh, uh, the drums that uh, Garage Band uh, gives and uh, live drums, uh, like uh, real drums. And uh, yeah, but I add some uh, adjust, I adjust the sound, I add some uh, more element. And uh, yeah, don't forget to enjoy uh, my new track today on all uh, platform. And uh, yeah, we start again with a new with the new track, and then later on I will uh, maybe in this couple of weeks I will show you uh, how I finish the track with the voice, probably the track that we made uh, before. But uh, yeah, we move on with the new track, and we start with the drums. Uh, with the, we dive into the deep, we go inside the, the program and uh, yeah, of course, we open the MIDI keyboard to control uh, ok, it's done, yes, this is ready and uh, yeah, we check here now and uh, yeah, as you can see here is the drums, we're gonna find a good drums, I uh, put 100, uh, 122 BPM and uh, yeah, we start to hit this uh, drums no, I use the live drum kit uh, this one maybe, this one I use always uh, this uh, is the one that I use in most of my track Uh, but then I change it. I think I will use again this and uh, I will change some uh, something in here. Like this, no. Maybe like this. like this yes we're gonna use this one and uh, yeah we save the project with the name JJJJ okay and then we look at the EQ uh, and we see this part Yes, and uh, yeah, we go on here. We do copy paste like this, then we save it, and uh, yeah, after this. Maybe we're gonna add some uh, some percussion instrument. Maybe like this. Maybe this percussion. We're gonna change it, and then we're gonna add here. Let's see how we sound like this. Like this. Okay, we're gonna change a little bit here the percussion. Copy paste, copy paste. And uh, yeah, we save also this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna, um, as you can see here, we did uh, some uh, drums and here percussion, but the percussion, we're gonna put some uh, EQ effect, and uh, like this, we hear.
going to put some uh, some uh, reverb on this. Uh, where is the reverb? Reverb. This one. We cut some uh, high frequency like this. And then, uh, yeah, we put a little bit uh, up like this. As you can, uh, as you can hear, like this. Yes, it's really nice, and then we save it. And uh, yeah, like this. And then uh, we add some uh, bass. The bass, I think, uh, I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna check for the bass. This. this so let's see if it's sounding good we start uh, where is the, the percussion This one we can do, we can record uh, this one. Yes. Okay, we start. Uh, we start again. I don't like this one. And uh, okay, we see now we record again. Start like this. We're gonna quantize this one. Uh, let's hear this. Yeah, now we copy paste uh, this one. Uh, Okay, and one, two, three, like this. Uh, yes, copy paste. Mm, gonna check uh, really good. Paste, copy paste, and uh, 
check the EQ, we cut some frequency. This uh, is the this is the sound uh, that we had uh, today. Yeah, the, we create a new track with uh, live uh, drums that I use always, and I add some percussion and now the nice bass. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video also today. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow with the. Uh, uh, we go on with this track, we create another, we build another new fresh track. Thank you for watching also today and uh, ciao from uh, me, Mr. Fleamino. Ciao.